Jo. Pozdravljeni. So hello everybody and welcome to the University of Ljubljana online sessions. Uh, we are happy that so many of you join us today. Uh, the first session will be recorded and also published on our website. We will send you a video and Papata presentation to your email address. And I would also kindly ask you to mute yourself for a smoother presentation and better sound. And uh, my name is Katja Cerar, and I'm responsible for the promotion of study and some support activities uh, for international students and cooperation with international partners. I will briefly present you information about study possibilities, benefits for students, opportunities for learning Slovene language, um, scholarship possibilities and other activities. We will be available for all your questions after the presentation. So after the general presentation, we will invite you to join the breakout group according to your study interest. All interested in bachelor and single cycle master studies can stay in this main room where my colleague Tanya Zuzek from the university admission office will present application admission procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. And all, uh, all others will join the selected breakout rooms where you will learn about master degree programs, electrical engineering, advanced power system, master and PhD degree programs related to the public sector governance, PhD degree program statistics, chemical sciences and environmental protection. With us is also Liliana Lazikic. Uh, Liliana is a student at our Faculty of Social Sciences. And during today's presentation, she will share with you her experience with studying at the University of Ljubljana and living in Slovenia. Besides here listed degree programs, our academies and faculties offer more than 400 degree programs. I would like to invite you to join us at the various information days and sessions, which will be organized in February at the central and faculty level. And for more information and dates, please check our website. Now, just a few information about Slovenia. Slovenia is a very safe country. The natural world is dominated by green, while the country features diversity in all regions. And our country occupies an exceptional position at the meeting points of the Alps and Mediterranean. So you can hike in the mountains and swim in the sea in just one day. As a student in Slovenia, you will have many benefits from subsidized meals and transport to scholarship opportunities and possibilities for student work. Uh, Liliana works as a student at the University of Ljubljana Career Center for Personal and Professional Development of Students. And now I would like to invite her to present her experience with student work and procedures related to opening a bank account and obtaining a tax number in Slovenia. Liliana, please. Yes, thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I've been working there for a little over a year. Uh, it started as a mandatory student internship that I had in my third, my final year of undergraduate studies. Uh, my internship was on the Utopia project, which I will tell you more about it later. Um, so when it comes to students work, um, you need to know that every student that is enrolled in studies in Slovenia or taken an uh, internship or study as a part of international um, exchange programs in Slovenia can work. It does not matter that you're not a Slovenian citizen. 
uh, it is uh, very easy to work here as a student. You can easily combine your studies with your free time. So most students really work here. Uh, you just need to simply enroll in some of uh, student job services, such as Shdansky Service, uh, to bring your ID, uh, bank account in Slovenia, and also Slovenian tax number. Well, that tax number is often something that is very confusing for foreign students here. At least it was for me when I came here. Uh, that is actually a number that must be obtained for the purpose of receiving income. So you just need to fill application that you find on the internet or at a financial administration office that is Financhni Urat and just send it by post or hand in person national administration office uh, then uh, when you search for information about uh, this tax number in slovenian that te that tax number is called davčna stevilka uh, then when you receive that slovenian tax number you can just easily open a um, bank account at any bank in slovenia some of them have really great deals for students. Thank you, Liliana. Now, a few information about Ljubljana. Uh, our university is located in Ljubljana, which is the capital of Slovenia. It is very pleasant and youthful city to live in. Uh, we have many museums, galleries, theaters, cinemas, also one of the oldest Philharmonic Orchestra in the world. There is also our university, many institutes and libraries. Um, the city is surrounded by parks uh, and uh, protected areas of nature. Also in the city center, you can find lots of pubs, restaurants, clubs and shops. Uh, one of the central square in Ljubljana is Kongresni Turk, where is also the seat of the University of Ljubljana. So our university was established in 1919 with five member schools. Uh, is the oldest and the largest higher education and scientific research institution in Slovenia. At present, we have uh, 26 members. We have 23 faculties and three art academies that covers all fields of study from art, fine arts, natural science, technology and engineering, to social sciences, humanities, medicine, health sciences and sport. Most of our members, academies and faculties are located in Ljubljana, except the Faculty of Maritime St Studies and Transport, which is located in Porto Roche. The central building, all three academies and some faculties are located in the city center. And some of the most recent and modern building uh, were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana. So every academic year, more than 40,000 undergraduate and postgraduate students study at our university. And among them, we have around 9% degree seeking international students who are coming from more than 100 countries and approximately 6,000 higher education teachers, researchers, assistants, uh, and administrative staff are employed at our university. So why study with us? Uh, our university ranks among the top 3% of universities in the world, and an education acquired at the University of Ljubljana uh, will allow you to gain knowledge, practical experience and skills. You need to succeed in your career wherever in the world you choose to work and live. You will be also encouraged to get involved in numerous extracurricular activities and attend a series of additional education and training courses and also become a part of the vibrant international academic community. So Liliana, could you please share with us uh, why did you decide to study at the University of Ljubljana and when did you start planning to study here? Well, in fact, I found out about the possibilities of studying in Slovenia by accident. 
But when I started researching, I realized that Slovenia and more precisely Ljubljana is exactly the place where I want to live and study. Um, as I remember, it was around New Year and after that it was February and the application process started. And for me, everything seemed very easy. I decided to study here because unlike other EU countries, it is quite close to my country. I'm from Serbia uh, because also the language is somewhat similar and because I believed that the atmosphere here is similar to that in my country. And that is true. People are very friendly at um, I'm here. So thank you. Uh... Now I will shortly present you what are advantages of studying uh, with us. Uh, we are trying with the help of tutors and many support activities uh, to help you uh, to integrate into your studies and life in Slovenia. Uh, it is important to know that according to Slovenian legislation, we have to organize all programs in Slovenian language. We also offer some programs parallelly in English and other languages, uh, and there is more than um, 600 uh, subjects in English. Information about degree programs you will be able to find in the call for enrollment, uh, where will be also published the information regarding uh, the language. And as the study is mostly conducted in Slovene language, students from foreign countries can attend various Slovene language courses for easier integration into Slovene environment and more successful study. And as well, uh, you will have the possibility of joining the activity called Year Plus. Uh, Year Plus was specially designed to help international students to acquire language and other skills, expertise in their chosen field of study, as well as the opportunity to learn about the culture and history of Slovenia in general in the first year of bachelor or master studies. And it also allows the extension of student status under certain conditions. And you can also learn Slovenian language online. Uh, we have prepared a um, freely accessible online course for foreigners in eight different languages, or you can attend the online or classroom courses organized by our Center for Slovene as a second ten foreign language. Also, there are some scholarships for covering tuition fees for learning Slovene language, but these scholarships are available only for members of Slovene ethnic minorities in other countries and descendants of Slovene immigrants. At the moment, it's already open call for the summer, autumn, winter, and spring school of Slovene language. So Liliana, could you please tell us uh, how did you learn Slovene language and did you have any challenges uh, to follow the lectures at the beginning of your studies? So um, I didn't go to year plus, to letter plus, uh, because the number of applicants uh, was filled. So from my experience, I can tell you that it is possible to learn Slovenian at a faculty by listening uh, to lectures and talking to students from Slovenia. Also, uh, working is one of the best ways to learn a language. And um, in general, just exposing, uh, listening, and trying to speak uh, on a daily basis can help a lot. Uh, I had opportunity when it comes to study, I had the opportunity to do all my exams and seminars in English or Serbian in the first year of my study because professors were really very open who, to help. So uh, there are those uh, possibilities, probably not at all faculties, but I have heard from some experiences of others that it is in most faculties. And um, I really recommend to all students to inform the professors at the beginning of their studies that they are foreigners, but to use um, this opportunity to answer and write um, exams in uh, their language or in English 
just at the very beginning because that will definitely slow down the process of uh, learning Slovenian. So our university uh, also has career centers, uh, which provide students and graduates with various activities in the field of professional and per uh, personal development. Uh, they also organize events when you can establish contacts with potential employers and many others additional education and training courses. And also as our student, you will be able to get involved in many various extracurricular activities to develop competences, skills and strengths that are not directly part of the study program. Uh, we offer a wide range of credit evaluated extracurricular activities in the fields of sport, arts and culture, research, project, volunteering, health and so on. And we are also aware of the importance of the well-being of the students and staff and that's why we also provide free psych psychosocial support. So as our student, we will also have many possibilities for practical work and internship and good access to library resources. Uh, you will be able to attend concerts, exhibitions and performances organized by our academies and faculties. Um, and now Liliana will share her uh, insight about integrating into studies and life in Slovenia. And um, she will also share with you what she likes most about her studies. Yeah, uh, it's really wonderful for me here from the very beginning. I have never had actually any uncomfortable situation nor that I feel bad about being a foreigner, perhaps. Uh, in my opinion, it is actually somehow an advantage and an opportunity to meet a large number of differences in one place. Um, as for the studies themselves, um, I have never had opportunity to study in another country, but from the experience of people I know, when I compare with studying here, I can say that studies here are very focused on practical application. Theory and practice are equally represented um, with the fact that you will um, never have to learn thousands of pages for some exam. Uh, everything is very interactive. We always have a lot of projects, uh, group works, seminar papers. Okay, now a few information about our degree programs. Uh, I mentioned before that our degree programs range across all fields of study. Uh, so you have uh, a lot of possibilities and options uh, to study here. Uh, degree programs are internationally renowned, comparable and professionally attractive. Uh, this also provides good international mobility of students and staff. Um, our faculties and academies uh, have accredited more than 400 degree programs at bachelor, master and doctoral level. And all relevant information about the offered degree programs, enrollment requirements, language, duration and number of available places uh, will be published on our website in the call for enrollment. This is expected in February for the next academic year. Um, the nominal length uh, of bachelor's degree programs is three or four years, and you can gain 180 or 240 credit points, while the single cycle master degree programs last five or six years, and you can gain 300 or 360 ECTS credit points. Uh, single cycle master's degree programs are for EU regulated professions um, such as medicine, dental medicine, veterinary medicine, pharmacy and architectures. And uh, the nominal length of master degree programs is one or two years and you can gain 60 or 120 credit points. Um, so our faculties and academies also offer 21 doctoral degree programs 
And almost all doctoral degree programs last four years, except governments and economics in the public sector, which lasts uh, three years. And here you can also find a list of all doctoral degree programs. Um, it is important to know that some organized forms of study at the doctoral level, for example, lectures, seminars, practical work, are usually carried out together on a smaller scale or with consultation. And in the event the international students are enrolled, um, the lecturers and students settle the language for the lectures and they communicate in English or another agreed foreign language. And you will find more information later in the breakout rooms uh, at the individual program presentation. As a doctoral student, you can also um, be employed at the faculty or academy uh, as a young researcher under certain conditions. And the tender is usually published in May or June. Uh, here on this website, you can find more information or you can contact uh, my colleagues in doctoral school for more information. Slovenia uh, has a national online system for enrollment and recognition of foreign education. It is important to know that matura or diploma is not required for applying, but is required for enrolling. So as soon as the application uh, will open, um, we would recommend you that you apply and you will send your documentation for recognition of foreign education later on when you will receive it from your home institution. Uh, so uh, later, my colleague Tanya from the University Admission Office will present uh, in detail uh, application and admission procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. And of course, colleagues um, from the faculties will explain the procedure in the breakout rooms. Here, I would also like to point out that we have been spotting some misuse of the name of the University of Ljubljana and data regarding application and admission procedure from some recruitment agents and agencies. So please note that application through agencies does not guarantee you a successful application. And uh, application is not complicated, just follow the instruction. You can always contact us for help. We also have um, online counseling uh, and you can apply for that. And now um, Liliana will also tell you uh, how was her experience uh, with this procedure. Yes, as I said, for me, it seems very easy and actually it is. And as Katya said, um, I know that some students had some problems with application, but you can always contact information office, university or faculty, and they will always help you. Just follow those steps and you will see that it's not that complicated, but just be prepared to wait a little bit longer for answer if you're enrolled, uh, because uh, there is a, there are a lot of students, so don't worry. I got my letter, I think, from university in September. So that is pretty normal. Just uh, be prepared for that. Okay, thank you. So I think that um, next information would be also very interesting for you all. Here is information about our tuition fee. Uh, so um, you do not have to pay tuition fee for bachelor or master study. If you're coming from EU countries, Switzerland, Iceland, Liechtenstein, or Norway, or if you're coming from countries with which the Republic of Slovenia uh, has concluded bilateral agreement. Um, these are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Northern Macedonia, Montenegro, Kosovo, and Serbia. Also, you won't have to pay tuition fee if you will be a scholarship holder of the Republic of Slovenia. Uh, if you have permanent residence in Slovenia or you or your parents, uh, guardians are taxpayers here. Uh, if you decide to come uh, to our university as an exchange student and um, if you are granted international protection or applicant for international protection. So who has to pay tuition fee? Uh, tuition fee uh, have to pay all students uh, 
with an already acquired equivalent degree of education, all doctoral students and all part-time students. And you will also have to pay tuition fee if you're coming from non-new country with which Slovenia does not have concluded a bilateral agreement. Um, fee mostly ranks between 2,500 and 5,000 euros per academic year, but this depends on the individual uh, degree program. For example, the highest fee is um, for the programs at the Faculty of Medicine and Academy of Music. This is uh, 15,000 euros per academic year. And also it is important to know that administrative costs and compulsory health insurance are not included in the fee. And this needs to be taken care of before the start of your studies. At the doctoral level, uh, we have a co-funding scheme uh, and the doctoral students will most likely uh, sign a statement at their enrollment uh, with which uh, confirm their intent to be co-founded and state that they meet the requirements. Um, the amount of co-founding uh, depends uh, on the number of enrolled students uh, who meet uh, the requirements for co-founding. And for more information, um, you can contact uh, University of Ljubljana member, faculty or academy at which you would like to enroll. Um, about scholarship, uh, we do not have many possibilities for scholarships. Uh, scholarships are carried out uh, through our Public Scholarship Development, Disability and Maintenance Fund of the Republic of Slovenia. At the moment, there is open call for scholarship uh, for doctoral study Christology, scholarship for citizens of Jordan and Palestina. And also every year, uh, the fund uh, publish call for a scholarship for Slovenians abroad for bachelor and master studies. Uh, this is usually in August. Uh, for example, in this academic year is a scholarship 204.80 euros per month. And also recipients of scholarships have the possibility to get accommodation in the student uh, dormitory. Of course, this depends on the situation um, with coronavirus and on this website you can find uh, more information about scholarship opportunities. So um, our university is also central and largest uh, educational and research institution in Slovenia. Uh, we have uh, approximately 30% of all registered researchers. Um, our researchers and professors are involved in various research groups, projects and activities. And as our student, you will have an opportunity to participate in different research projects and activities. And you can check our project and research activities um, in our research news section on here listed uh, website. So in cooperation with foreign universities, uh, we conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and um, we encourage international exchanges of students and staff. We are actively involved uh, in many uh, international partnerships and uh, associations. And as our student, you will have many opportunities for study exchanges or practical training at partnered universities and other institutions. And of course, if you do not decide to study with us, you are welcome to spend a semester or two as an exchange student as at our university. I will skip this. Uh, so uh, Liliana already mentioned uh, association alliance called Utopia. Um, this alliance is led by our university, but it also includes eight other universities. And this alliance aims to promote the mobility of students and staff through new ways of joint teaching and learning, cross-border cooperation, and also addresses local and global issues. Um, Liliana is also a student uh, ambassador, and um, Liliana, could you please uh, share with us um, the opportunities um, available to students within the Utopia Alliance? 
Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, so uh, we are student career ambassadors. There are actually more packages, but our package as student career ambassadors, we are our goal is to connect with other students and present you different opportunities for your career path and mobility through different workshops. Uh, actually, this week and next week, we have uh, some really uh, interesting workshops. On the 29th, we we have uh, publishing ethics and uh, communicating your science hosting by our university. And the day after we have University of Warwick uh, and uh, they will have a workshop on uh, moving to UK. But I know this is a lot of information, so I will send you in chat a link to our LinkedIn group and uh, also our Instagram profile so you, so you can uh, check uh, this and uh, you will check more information about um, next workshops and next activities. So our faculties and academies also offer many summer school courses um, that are amazing opportunities for learning, networking, and to learn about Slovenia culture in general. And of course, you are invited uh, to join us at our summer school courses. Um, list of summer school courses for the next uh, year, 2022, is expected to be published uh, in April on this website. Now, just a few information about visa and health insurance. Um, it is important to know that if you are a citizen of the member states of the European Economic Area, you may enter Slovenia with a valid identity card or valid passport. And third country nationals uh, must acquire a visa or a residence permit from Slovenia's diplomatic mission abroad. And Please note that um, we do not provide support for the visa application process, and also we do not have any influence in this process. And uh, also due to the current situation, uh, please check our website where you can find updated information about border crossing. And you can also find information on the Slovenian Ministry of Interior website. Now a few information about health insurance. Um, students who are insured in the EU member states, EEA, Switzerland and Australia, have the right to obtain emergency or necessary health care services. Uh, Slovenia also has concluded a bilateral agreement with Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Serbia and Montenegro. And if you are insured in these countries, you have the right to the emergency health care services. But if you're coming from countries which are not in the EU or EEA, or countries without a bilateral agreement uh, with Slovenia, you have to conclude the compulsory health insurance in Slovenia. And you can register for insurance at the unit of health insurance uh, Slovenia. And also, it is important that um, you know that based on your inclusion in the insurance system of Slovenia, you will have free access to health care services within the scope of compulsory health insurance. And considering that you are required to cover the difference to the full price of health care service yourself, we would recommend you that you also take out supplementary health insurance at a commercial insurance company. Now, just a few information about accommodation. In Ljubljana, only international students who are recipients of the ministry scholarship can get accommodation in the student dormitory. Otherwise, you have to find accommodation your, yourself. We have also a few places, available places for exchange students, uh, but it's not enough for all. So we prepare this website when you can find some useful links and information for finding accommodation. And um, now I would like to ask Liliana uh, if you could please share with us, how did you find your accommodation? Who helped you with all the arrangements for studying and living in Slovenia? How much are approximately your monthly costs? And um, what would you recommend to the can candidates before their study and uh, arrival to Slovenia? Yeah, 
so finding accommodation can be really stressful here. So prepare for that. Uh, students primarily live with roommates, uh, sharing one apartment. So with friends, I think it wouldn't be that hard. My suggestion is to start searching at least in August. There are also options for some private dorms um, if you didn't get uh, your or couldn't get room in a regular dormitory. The accommodation is a really main part of your monthly costs, um, but I think it's very individual and depends on what uh, are your needs and your lifestyle. But uh, I think if we that we can say that monthly you will need around uh, 400, 500, 600 euros. But again, it depends. Um, you can also work as a student, as I said. Um, uh, so that can also affect your budget. Um, and um, in the end, uh, some uh, recommendations uh, before your arrival here. Um, I, I don't know, I just really want to tell you to enjoy here, to really prepare good and um, beside preparing for your uh, studies here and uh, your academic and career life. Uh, really, when you arrive here, remember to enjoy having this opportunity to be a foreigner, because this is a very, very great opportunity to grow as a person. And because of all these new experiences and amazing stuff you will have here. So um, really enjoy here. That, that will be my recommendation. <laughs> So we also gathered some other student impressions who explains what's like to learn with us and why they choose University of Ljubljana. And some of them also provided their contacts so you can contact them for more information. Uh, here we also put uh, our contact um, emails um, and our website. I really recommend you to check this um, website very carefully. Uh, here you will find many useful information about our degree programs, um, arrival to Slovenia, uh, all activities that are offered um, to uh, students uh, at the University of Ljubljana. And of course, uh, if you will have any questions after reading these guides, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us, to write us at here listed email addresses. And uh, for we will be also again available uh, for these presentations and sessions in February. So uh, I will send you invitations to your email addresses. And uh, now we... Uh, came to the end of uh, the general presentation. Um, I would like to invite you to join to the breakout rooms according to your study interest. So all interested for bachelor studies, please stay here in this main room where we will be, uh, where we will present you uh, application admission uh, procedure for bachelor and single cycle master studies. And we will also be available for all your questions related to the bachelor and single cycle master studies. All others, please join the selected room where my colleagues from the faculties will present you detailed information about the individual master or PhD degree programs. Um, you already have, we already opened a breakout rooms. So if you're interested. Uh, we are having some problems with the breakout rooms. Uh, okay. So just please wait a few minutes and we will take care of it. Okay, so then we will continue. With and the... I, I would like to yeah. ask uh, all of the co-hosts uh, to do not open the breakout rooms because I will open them when they will be ready. So please, uh, for now, uh, just wait a few minutes. Okay, so now we will wait a few minutes uh, that we open again breakout rooms and then we will continue with the presentation of the application and admission office. So I will just explain. Um, we will open um, six breakout rooms.
So you will be able to join to breakout room advanced power systems. This is for the master studies, electrical engineering. There will be breakout rooms for PhD studies, chemical sciences, also for PhD studies, environmental protection. Then we will have breakout rooms for master studies, public sector governance. Uh, and another breakout room, governance and economics in the public sector. This is for the PhD program. And uh, we will also have breakout room for the program statistics. So I will also explain after uh, the breakout rooms will open, how you can join or leave the breakout rooms. So uh, when the breakout rooms uh, will be again created, uh, please just join the selected room uh, in which you would like to participate and follow the presentation. Uh, you should click breakout room in your meeting controls and this will display the list of open breakout rooms. Uh, when you select the breakout room you wish to join, click join and then also you will have to confirm by clicking join and repeat as necessary to join other breakout rooms or click new room and return to the main sessions. Okay, uh, now the rooms are open, so you can assign to a particular room. Okay, we will wait now uh, a minute uh, so that everybody uh, join selected breakout room. And if you need any help, uh, please just write or raise hand and we will help you um, to, uh, uh, to join to the selected breakout room. You can uh, also write to Timotei Lenich. Uh, this is IT support. Thank you for a very useful session. Arshia. Thank you, Amrita. <laughs> Lovely to be with you. I want to say that a month ago, we discovered this gem, a hidden gem of academic excellence in uh, Slovenia, which is the University of Ljubljana. And we are so happy you're holding this session to showcase the brilliance of your university. Thank you also to the student ambassador, Liliana, for the very good insights you have given us. Thank you, Amrita. So uh, Amrita and uh, her colleagues visited our university uh, last month, and we also had a um, discussion about the possibility um, of joint activities with the Indian institutions. And we look forward to that. Because <laughs> your university is one of the best, and your country is absolutely amazing. So now I see that uh, still many of you are here in this main room. Uh, maybe anybody need help to, to join selected breakout room? Katarina, ti si pomoto makle, ali hočeš biti kle? Uh, I'm still waiting for... Aha, now I will join. Sem predstavil vas, ja. Ok. Ok, we will just... Uh, those who are interested for bachelor studies, please stay here. We will continue with the presentation uh, in a minute or two. Tanya is already ready. <laughs>
So I would suggest that we continue with the presentation of the admission procedure and procedure of recognition of foreign secondary education. Uh, Tanya Zuzek is my colleague uh, and she's coming from uh, our admission office. And also with us is Alenka Shuligoy. Uh, both are responsible for uh, procedure for international students. Uh, so after Tanya's presentation, uh, we will be available uh, for your questions. Uh, and if anybody still needs help to join breakout rooms, just let us know. So Tanya, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the presentation, Admission Procedure and the Procedure of the Recognition of Secondary Education for Enrollment into the Single Cycle Master Degree Program and Bachelor Degree Program. My colleague, Alenka Shuligoy, will answer your question. So please write your, of all your questions in the chat. Let's get could, you, started. could you maybe just go to the full screen uh, for the presentation? Just go to the full screen. Yes, I have full screen. Choklopas uh, dia projekcija. Če pa nagre, pa kar nadaljuj. Just a little. So let's get started. How do you join to a large family of students at the University of Ljubljana by expressing your interest by applying to the study with the application? Our contacts are written here. Uh, you can get all the information about the admission and recognition procedure on our website. And if you have questions about the application and recognition process, please send email to this published email address, admission and recognition. We also have a new options, online consulting. You can register on the uh, portal Popper and we also answer to your questions by phone every day on these published telephone numbers from February to October. How to apply to degree programs at the University of Ljubljana? With the application form, and this application form is published on the web, por web portal EVASH. The most important address for you is web portal EVASH. You can apply in two languages, either in Slovenia or in English. You can sub submit the application with a username and password and also with a digital certificate. Regardless of the method of submitting the application, it's sufficient to send in it electronically. Uh, you must complete all the steps in the application. And uh, at the end, you must also send uh, the application electronically. At the web portal EVASH, 
I published seven videos step by step how to fill in application. You need to be careful uh, not to miss the end of the application deadline. I will tell you a little bit later when the application periods are. Uh, the application and admission procedure begins each year with the call for enrollment. This publication will be published on the web portal Evasha at the end of January. For bachelor and single cycle master's degree programs, I publish the enrollment conditions and also selection criteria, which grades will be uh, taken into account in, in the selection procedure if more candidates apply then is the number of enrollment places and also the number of enrollment places is, is published there. In the application, uh, you can choose a maximum of three degree programs into which uh, you wish to enroll. Uh, the order is very important. Uh, the candidates will be placed in the first one for which they meet uh, all the conditions for enrollment. What does mean? If you choose the study program pharmacy in the first place and, uh, and, uh, uh, and electrical engineering in the second and achieve enough points for both selected study programs, you will be placed in the first study program for which you will uh, have enough points, in this case, in pharmacy at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, the most courses are performed in Slovenian. Lessons are held in English only at the two faculties, at the School of Economics and Business, and at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. Uh, our dates will be uh, published on the web portal Evasher and at the University of Ljubljana uh, website in February next year. You can apply in two application periods. The dates depend on your citizenship. If you are a citizen of uh, an EU uh, member state or a Slovenian without Slovenian citizenship, you can apply in the first application period from February to March and in the second period in August. If you have non-EU citizenship, you can apply from uh, February to April in the first application period and in September. The most important thing is to apply for the study within the deadline. It will uh, no longer be possible to submit the application after application deadline. Certificates uh, do not need to be attached to the application. If uh, you are in the last year of high school, you will attach them later. When you finish school, don't worry, uh, you have enough time. Those of you who have already finished high school, send them together with the application. And all required documents have to be attached to the Eversha portal electronically as scans or photos of the original certificates. Here is the table in which uh, the required documents are written. You have to send certificates of all years of high school and the final certificate and also a short chronological description of the entire uh, education personal documents and the evidence of the Slovene language examination at level B2, but this only for some degree programs. You can get all the information about the required documents on our website. Documents sent by regular mail or with email will not be considered. Candidates uh, have to attach a Slovenian language exam on level B2 uh, on Portal Evers if it is so required, but a degree program. And here are written degree programs at the University of Ljubljana that require Slovenian language exam at level B2 before enrollment. 
you can take the Slovenian language exam in Slovenia or in your country. It's important to take exam at level B2. And after submitting the application, we will contact you, the employees of uh, recognition and, and enrollment, and uh, you will be informed about the required documents, the important uh, dates and deadlines and other conditions uh, in your application through the portal e uh, A notification that you have to attach the documents through the e portal will be sent also to your email. Uh, it's not enough for some study programs just to finish high school to enroll. Uh, you also need to you also need uh, to take a test of talent all the all degree programs that uh, require a test of talent are written here dates are published on the website of the university of ljubljana and in the call for enrollment the academy and faculty will send you an invitation to the test by email uh, if the degree program has limited enrollment, the candidates uh, will be selected based on criteria published in the annual call for enrollment. Your grades need to be converted into a Slovenia grading system. Grading scales are published on this website. After the selection procedure, we will send you admission decision through the portal Evasha. And if you are selected, you will be invited to the enrollment by the faculty or academy via email. Uh, this is shortly uh, all I want to say about admission and recognition procedure. Uh, you, will, you will meet us if you apply to the University of Ljubljana. Mm, and we will do our best not to make this admission procedure too complicated to you. Thank you for your uh, attention and have a nice day.